lot of our viewers will know you, will have first known you, let's say, from Mighty Boosh, right? They will. Right. <laughs> let's... <laughs> Yeah. And uh, tell us how that happened, because you're an American. Well, first they invented and the television. Yeah. Uh, I hope We've gone back, back too far. Okay, right, okay. right. Spin forwards 150 years. Okay. Steptoe and Son, and then, <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Mighty Boosh. Yeah. Uh, how did I get... How did you get involved? Oh, yeah. well, I came over here doing the festival as, a th as part of an improv troupe. We weren't mime, but, we, you know, that's... Yeah, you could improvise Yeah, mime. so it was yeah. three guys, and the two guys, uh, we, we came over here three years, and they left. And we, I had a manager, and so I just said, could you manage me by myself? I could do stuff. And so I got the sketch show, eventually, with Julian Barrett and Noel Fielding, and that's how we met, and then we decided to do a show after that. Yeah, just obviously you had the same comic voice for one of a much better phrase. We had the same voice, actually. We had to get an operation, yeah, to separate it. Yeah, now very different. Yeah. Yeah, you went American, they went... Yeah, I said, I want the American voice, very nasal, and sometimes talks underwater. That's very cool. So, something I like to do once in a while. Can you also do the physical act of being underwater? No. No, just the voice. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that difficult? It's not difficult, it just makes it more enjoyable for me. Yeah, I'm enjoying What's it. What's your next project? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And Mighty Boosh happened, and that's allowed you oh, to right, do... Oh, right, right, right. So we did that. We, we uh, did the festival. Yeah. And then we did the radio show, and then we did the puppet show. No, we didn't do a puppet show. TV. TV. That's how we did yeah. TV. Yeah. You're part of a, well, phenomenon, really. Right. Fun? It, believe me, it's hard. <laughs> no, uh, it's, uh, it's weird because, yeah. you know, you don't know when you're doing a TV show how popular it is okay. until you go out on tour and see screaming people. Yeah. Just literally screaming at you to get, out, get off the street. <laughs> no, no. But they're going, ah, we love the show, we love the show. <laughs> That's for Noel. That's not me. Yeah, but you get the residual, For, don't for you? me, it's like, ah! <laughs> <You> <laughs> what are you doing in my dressing room? <laughs> you didn't get the residual? Because he's only one man. And you had Wembley Arena at one point. There must have been... Wembley, yeah. We, we had the O2 as well. Yes. O2! And it was just like... <laughs> That's because uh, the electricity went out. <laughs> uh, no, no, it was great. It was just... Uh, so that's all very bizarre. Mm. And now I'm in a small theater where people throw shit at me. Literally? No, no. No, it's, no, it's great. Yeah. It's great. I, I, you know, I love the fact that you can do other things as well as, you know, the bush. Well, that's what having a big success allows you to do, doesn't it? It allows you to... Do the projects you want to do. Yeah. yeah. All those projects that I want to do with, like, uh, you know, Alec Baldwin and, yeah. you know, <laughs> Anthony uh, Hopkins. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a Ed war Helms. picture. Ed Helms. It's that, the same group, isn't it? Yeah. I just did a film You did a movie. You see yeah. how I was segueing? Yeah. You're like Mr. Segway. Just... Mr. Segway, <laughs> seg me away. They actually pay me for Segway. It's kind of, <laughs> kind of a restrictive pay scale. But you get a Segway royalties. Yeah, I'm up to £30 for this interview, so three okay. Segways. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, profit. Isn't it? Um, I can't stop. <laughs> do that with the underwater. Actually, don't. What are you doing with the Yeah. No, it's a, it's a movie called High Road, which is it's a, like a road movie, and I play like a stepdad who's like a transvestite. Typecast. <laughs> Last question. Are yeah. you going to do a tiny act of rebellion today? Well, have you done one and will you do one? I have already done one. You have already done I've one. I've exposed my knee. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's and microscopic acts of rebellion. <laughs> I just poured acid all over your shirt. No, no. Uh, ah! Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, tiny act. I could do one right now. Okay. Like say, I'm ready. Say we're concluding the interview. Okay. 
Rich, thanks so much for doing this. It's really been a great pleasure to meet you and talk to you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, you've limp handshaked me. The limp handshake. Oh, so gross. <laughs> Isn't uh, that creepy? Yeah, it's really creepy. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah. Now I'm like really German. And I feel like you've really rebelled against me. Isn't I that? am. Yeah. And you're mm. upset. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to take out someone over, else with like... a medium sized active. <laughs> yeah, after this is over, it's like, get that shit away from yeah. me. <laughs> exactly. Um, Rich, it's uh, Time Act Rebellion 9.30. I've just completely guessed. I have no idea what time it was on, I just guessed. You, it's 8.30. 8.30, Tiny Act of Rebellion yeah. at the Gilded Balloon. That was an act of rebellion. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a revenge act. You did it. I did. Well done. Um, enjoy the rest of Edinburgh. Right teat pig. Okay. <laughs> Rich is doing right teat pink. I'm going to throw back to me in the studio. <laughs> he made it.